Good day everyone, I am Geraldine Ellatore and I will going to discuss the parts and functions of the cell. So what is cell? Cells are the basic building blocks of all living things. It is defined as the smallest or basic unit of life that is responsible for all of life's processes. So in the simplest explanation, when we say cell, it is the smallest unit that can live on its own and that makes up of all living organisms and the tissues of the body. So there are two types of cell, the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell. When we say eukaryotic cell, are the cells that contain a membrane-bound nucleus and organelles. The eukaryotic cell has a nuclear membrane that surrounds the nucleus in which the well-defined chromosomes or the bodies containing the hereditary material are located. So there are parts of eukaryotic cell. The first part is the nucleus. When we say nucleus, it is the information center of the cell and is surrounded by a nuclear mem membrane in all eukaryotic. The second part is the endoplasmic reticulum. All eukaryotic cells contain an ER. So endoplasmic reticulum is a network of membranes inside a cell through which pro proteins and other molecules move. So, there are two kinds of endoplasmic reticulum, the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. When we say RER, it is the series of connected flattened sacs, part of a continuous membrane organelle within the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells that plays a central role in the synthesis of proteins. When we say smooth ER, is a membrane membranous organelle found in most eukaryotic cells. Its main functions are the synthesis of lipids, steroid hormones, the, de the decto or dectosification of harmful metabolic byproducts and the storage and metabolism of calcium ions within the cell. So the main difference between the SER and RER is the presence of ribosome. As uh, um, is most ER does not consist of ribosomes, but in um, rough in the plasmic reticulum, it consists of ribosomes. The next part of eukaryotic cell is the Golgi apparatus. So it is an organelle found in most eukaryotic cells. An organelle in eukaryotic cells that stores and modifies proteins for specific functions and prepares them for transport to other parts of the cell. Next is the microtubules. Microtubules are polymers of tubulin that form part of the cytoskeleton and provide structure and shape to eukaryotic cell. Next is the centrosome, are organelles which serve as the main microtubule organizing centers for animals. Next is the cell membrane. It is found in all cells and separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment. It consists of a lipid bilayer that is semi-permeable. Next is the ribosome. It is a complex molecular machine found inside the living cells that produce proteins from amino acid during the process called protein synthesis or translation. The next one is the lysosomes. Lysosomes is a membrane-bound cell organelle that contains digestive enzymes. Lysosomes are involved with various cell processes. The next one is the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a, thick, is a thick solution that fills each cell and is enclosed by the cell membrane. It is mainly composed of water, salts, and proteins. Next one is cilia. Cilia is an organelle found on eukaryotic cells in the shape of a, of a slender protuberance that projects from the much larger cell body. The next one is the mitochondria. Mitochondria is an organelle found on eukaryotic cells in the shape of a slender 
protuberance that, pro that projects from the much larger cell body. Next one is the flagellum. Flagellum is a long rod-like structure that is surrounded by an extension of the cell membrane like a sheath. Next one is the microfilaments. So microfilaments are protein filaments in the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells that form part of the cytoskeleton. So the next types of the cell is the prokaryotic cell. When we say prokaryotic cell, it is a type of cell that does not have a true nucleus or membrane-bound organelles. And it is an organism so within the domains bacteria and RK are based on the prokaryotic cell. So they are parts of prokaryotic cell. The first one is the capsule. So when we say capsule, it helps prokaryotes cling to each other and to various surfaces in their environment. It also helps prevent the cell from drying out. And the uh, other parts of prokaryotic cell is the cell wall. So when we see cell wall, it is a um, protective layer that surrounds some cells and gives them shape and rigidity. So, 